Good morning, Secretary Clinton. Speaking of the stakes of the midterm elections and the next presidential election, when you and I got together for a conversation last year, you warned that if Donald Trump is not held accountable, it could be the end of the democracy, was, was the way you put it. And also, if people in Congress who support his agenda or think the way he does, that also would contribute to that. So I'm curious what you've made of the Justice Department's handling of the Mar-a-Lago documents, the fact that the president and his team took all those classified documents from the White House, put them at his beach club, obstructed efforts to get them back for more than a year. Do you believe the Justice Department will hold him accountable? Well, I certainly hope so. Uh, I mean, part of the rule of law means nobody's above it and nobody's below it. Uh, we should all be treated equally before the law. And even, uh, you know, a, an ex-president uh, who has defied the law, who has handled, uh, mishandled, uh, obviously classified documents, uh, is not someone who should get away uh, with doing uh, that kind of uh, behavior. You know, at the end of the day, I had zero classified materials. Um, all the fuss that was made about what I did and all the rest of it. At the end of the day, after FBI investigations, two State Department investigations, one under, one under Tillerson, one under Pompeo, frankly, looking for something to hold me accountable for, there was nothing there. This is the worst example of arrogance uh, and just a, a sense of impunity that I can remember in recent history from anybody uh, in a high position. So the Justice Department is doing what they're supposed to be doing, which is recovering classified material, analyzing them to try to figure out what damage has been caused. I mean, as a senator, as a secretary of state, I was privy to classified materials. And, you know, they hold some of our nation's, you know, most important information, our secrets. Um, and when we heard that there might be a document that had information about the nuclear posture of either an ally or an adversary, I mean, the stakes could not be higher. So. Uh, certainly, the Justice Department needs to vigorously uh, pursue this and follow the facts and the evidence uh, wherever they might lead. And if that leads to accountability for the former president, that's exactly where they should go. And what do you think, Secretary Clinton, when you hear elected officials, many of them prominent senators, who some of them calling for you to be put in prison for having the server at your home, now saying of this event, of this incident, well, it's a bookkeeping issue, it's a storage problem, there's nothing to see here, or Lindsey Graham even saying, well, you know, if you indict this former president, watch out, there are going to be riots in the street. Obvious hypocrisy, but dangerous, too. What do you make when you hear those things? Well, exactly what you just said, dangerous hypocrisy. You know, I served with uh, a number of the people who say these kinds of things. And honestly, uh, you know, I, I don't know how they can live with themselves. I don't understand how they can be enthralled to such a fraud and uh, such a con artist as Donald Trump. I just don't get it. I don't know what he has mm -hmm. on them. I don't know what they expect to get from him. I don't understand their fear. Um, so it's a it's a mystery to me. And it's a mystery, though, with huge implications. I mean, if you go back and read history and we were we are reminded of that by, you know, incredible historians like Timothy Snyder. Look at how these kinds of authoritarian, totalitarian regimes get started. They get started by a demagogue, an authoritarian, uh, basically demanding fealty, and not just to himself, but to his version of reality. We saw that start on the afternoon of the inauguration, where, you know, alternative facts about the size of the crowd became uh, the argument the White House was making to overlook the fact that uh, there wasn't that big a crowd. And it continues to today, where people who you would think not only know better, but would want to do better, are siding with this outrageous and I believe probably illegal uh, use of classified material. So uh, it's a mystery to me, but it is a dangerous mystery that uh, you have the Republican Party still enabling uh, the fantasies and the power-hungry dreams of uh, the former president. 
Uh, if the questions you have are, are, are so important, especially what, what does he have? Why? Why? 